Chapter 8 of the histology section deals with a review of the gastrointestinal histology. The first slide illustrates, by using the small intestine as an example, the fundamental structure of much of the GI tract. The interior surface of the GI tract consists of a mucosa labeled M in this picture. The mucosa is the sum of an overlying epithelium, an underlying loose connective tissue array called the lamina propria, and a muscularis mucosa layer. The submucosa is mainly connective tissue, but depending on the parts of the GI tract as appropriate, it may con contain a variety of glands. Outside of the submucosa is the muscularis externa that typically consists of alternating layers of smooth muscle arranged in either circular or longitudinal arrays. Lastly, the outermost layer of the gut tube is either an adventitia, more connective tissue, and or that adventitia layer may be completely or partially covered by a serosa, which is the mesothelium that makes up the peritoneum. Next point we want to make is we want to look at some of the details with regard to how the mucosa differs as we move through parts of the GI tract. As we alluded to earlier on the previous slide, mucosa is the sum of an epithelium with a wide variety of cell types in it, depending on where we are, an underlying lamina propria, which consists of loose connective tissue, and deep to that, a, an internal muscularis mucosal layer.